YouTube, um, as you can see, if you just look on my desktop right now, you're not going to see any icons at all. There's nothing on there. However, if I double click, these appear. These are called fences. Fences are desktop organizing add-ons that you can download from Stardock.com for free. Now, um, I definitely recommend getting this while it's free because with how awesome this program is, it's not going to be free very long. You're not going to find any other program like this. This is one of a kind, okay? So, um, basically, first off, I guess I'm going to start off on how to get it. To get it, you want to go ahead and open up Google or your internet browser and just search it and go to Google. And then type in Stardock Fences. Just hit that. And in the very first link that pops up right here, click that. Then you have information here. You have a demo video that shows you the things here, as you can see. That's basically showing you that. It's a little kind of a small tutorial to download it. Um, I'll have a link in the description. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now I'm going to show you how to mess around with these. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag all of my icons to the desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these into little areas with their, um, lit with the, um, organized, okay? I'm going to organize these a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add these right here, okay? So I'm going to organize these the way I want them, okay? Now that I have this done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, hold the right click button and drag it over these. And press create new fence. Then name it, whatever you want to name it. Okay, there we go. We can resize this to match the icons, just like so. And then continue, and then continue on doing this with the rest of them. And just call this websites. Okay, going to resize this right here a bit. All right, go. Now we have websites. Um, they they are scrollable. Okay, make this video tools, and then resize this. And then last but not least virus protection I'm just gonna call it virus for short so um not only can you name these things anything you want to you can actually edit the color of them so if you want to do that what you're gonna want to do is right click on one of the fences and press um, edit fences once you've clicked that you're gonna get this window right here and now in this window you can you can move your fences around you can rename a move fence right here. Do all this stuff right here. Um, now, you can customize the colors. This is a really cool feature about this. As you can see now, my things are red. You can change the color to a really bright green. Change the opacity. All that, st all that good stuff. Um, make it a real dark green if you want to. Just pretty much anything. You can make it any color you want to. It's really cool. Um, snapshots these are pretty much backup files kind of like backing up your files say say I um, want to t test around and arrange these things right here but I don't want to lose this this layout because I really like it what you're gonna do is you'd go to this page here in tools and you press take snapshot and you just press ok now if you double click this you can press restore yes okay so um Say for example, I deleted every single one of these things right here. I can delete every one of them. If I delete this fence and I just I drag all these things around in random places where I don't want them, and I forgot where I had them before, I change the color and I do all kinds of stuff I don't want to do. Well, all I have to do is go into this right here and restore snapshot right here. Right click and press restore snapshot and press yes. And looky there. Every time you restore snapshot, it's going to take another one. So you can go ahead and delete the rest of it if you want to. And basically, that's pretty much it. Um, um, you can move, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with them. I definitely recommend doing this, um, getting these free. Now, one thing I need to talk about is video cards. Okay, 
you don't these right here can t take up a lot of virtual memory or not virtual memory but like your um for example like really get like if your computer's not a really big gaming pc then these might not be work very well for you because you need a pretty good video card to handle all this right here um so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you later youtube bye